Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this special episode, we take a retro look at the system that would be king of the gaming world while I was growing up and I still has a warm place in my heart, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Growing up, my parents never purchased the Nintendo Entertainment System or the NES due to its price. Being the king has its perks. And why reduce the price if you have no real competition? Seeing the Sega Master System on sale and not knowing the difference, my mom went ahead with Sega and I never looked back. It wasn't until my cousins proved that the NES had more games, and of course more games that were actually great, I had to move on and finally buckle down with my brother, save up enough money and split the costs and finally bought a Nintendo. The Nintendo Entertainment System was developed by Nintendo R&D 2 and was released by Nintendo in Japan in 1983, North America in 1985, Europe in 1986, Australia in 1987, and finally Brazil in 1993. Nintendo was able to capture much of the gaming market except for Brazil, which was dominated by the Sega Master System. Wanting to be a family computer, the Famicom name was developed in Japan. This cartridge-based system that wanted to succeed at home where the arcade scene was so successful for Nintendo in the early 1980s with Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and Popeye. Able to make deals with other Japanese developers like Hudson Soft and Namco as third-party support helped develop more software for a mere 30% license fee. As more companies joined, this helped their library to build before the launch in North America. The two years to perfect their games, the lineup, and console defects with a new slick, futuristic premium look. Nintendo was ready to take on then Atari for the gaming marketplace. Adding momentum and gaining the consumer confidence, they added the Nintendo official seal of quality that ensured the game was approved by Nintendo themselves. Adding the specific name changes also helped the market the console as a toy rather than a video game system like Atari. They would replace video game with entertainment and the actual video games to be called Game Packs. Also having an advanced toy robot, Rob, didn't hurt even if he was only used for two games. What really helps and really is the main reason any console does well is with their games. Nintendo is known today as the main console that defined retro gameplay with their fantastic number of games that were so playable that gamers were able to play hours on end repeating the game over and over again, especially with their packing game Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. With major icons to land solely on the NES, really pushes system sales as you could only play them on Nintendo. Brands like Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, and so many more could be only on Nintendo due to their licensing agreement to only develop for them. Banking on expanding the brand, Nintendo developed the magazine for fans, Nintendo Power, and would update news and inform fans of upcoming games. They also had secrets and maps to help players get through the hardest games. I was a subscriber, of course, to this magazine and well until Electronic Gaming Monthly or EGM opened my horizons with other consoles and a more mature look into gaming. Nintendo was the master at getting younger children to play their consoles and is still known today for the family friendly outlook. Probably the main reason I left Nintendo was I started to grow up with Sega and many other consoles. The system held its own with different models to help fix the North American design for a more functional top loader look. As the system ended its lifespan to make way for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1995, the system still thrived until 2003 in Japan. The Nintendo Entertainment System is one of the best consoles I have memories for. Their memorable music, unforgettable gameplay, and experience and so many games to pick from that you can never try them all. Here are some of my favorite games that although ported to other systems, never quite had the same feeling like the good old 8-bit Nintendo.
That's it for me on this look back on Nintendo Entertainment System. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.